Hey guys, welcome back to your channel Technical Sahil. First of all friends, I want to apologize to you all. I am uploading a video for you almost after almost a month and a half. I apologize for this long break and will try my best to ensure that this doesn't happen again. Today in this video, we are going to see how we can scrape data or you can say extract data from businesses listed on Google Maps with automation. By automation, I mean you only have to type once the type of business you want to scrape and the country or city data you need. After typing the search query, you just need to press the start button. Then your computer, yes, your personal computer in which currently you are watching the video will continue to scrap that data on its own. You just need to sit back and watch it happen or you can continue with your other task. All of this will be possible with the help of one software. Actually in this video I'll show you two separate software programs. One software will scrape a bit faster and a bit lighter but it won't be able to scrape the data very deeply. It will mainly extract basic details like company names, phone numbers, addresses, ratings emails etc but the second software will run a bit slower of course but will perform quite deep data extraction it will pull company reviews images and certainly all the basic details that the first software is extracting guys both of these softwares are windows based desktop applications you don't need to run it on any server and you can perform unlimited data scrapping in both the softwares you also doesn't need to get any Google Maps API key to scrap the data on both of these softwares. So without any further delay, let's go through both the softwares one by one. First, I am showing you the this one, the lighter one. So we first need to extract this. When you download them, you will receive such files like this. If there is any problem with downloading the file, please contact me via either via email or whatsapp number provided in the description. After extraction, you will find four folders inside this. This is a documentation, a separate documentation either for user and for developer use. You mainly need a user documentation or you don't need such documentation if you are following this video because the software is very easy to install and run which i'll show you in this video this this option this folder contains the source files the source code of this software and the keygen i'll discuss with you later first let me show you this uh, apps here folder there are three folders no activation portable and with activation process this contains the release file the execution file with the chrome drivers and other dls files as well this is no activation process means does not require any license key you just need to install and run and this one is with activation process if you are either reselling the software or use or giving it as a license base to someone so you can give this uh, activation process after the successful installation it will show you one code one license key product code which you need to open this keygen file and paste that code here with the validation uh, validity license by default it's one year you can make it as many year as you want or as many small as you want and when you gen press generate key it will give you a code which the user that user need to paste that code to activate the license and this will activate the license code i can't show you this activation process on this computer because i have already uh, activated and installed this software so i can't install the same software and activate two times either if i uninstall this so once i have activated it has activated through my hardware id so it won't uh, go deactivated once the period is closed and I have set it the period of 100 years so it's better uh, to use the software uh, as it is but yeah once you run this setup so it will ask you 
uh, this option it's giving me because I have already installed it so for you it will give you three to four prompts you just simply need to next next and proceed and finally it will install the software under two minutes and when it will install you will need a you will see a screen like this so first you need to click this start button and by default it has given me something which I will definitely remove and type something web hosting company in India and I need to click add and when I select this and search so it will open a new tab a new chrome tab for me searching with this query which I have given it and now when I click the start grabbing and now I have to wait for a minute you can see it's in a running state and yeah it will scrap the all the businesses one by one we just need to wait for some time As you can see it's scrapping it's scrapping a bit fast especially a fast as compared to the other software because it's only scrapping the basic data it's not scrapping the reviews the images which I've shown here uh, it's not scrapping that thing the other software will scrap the other things as well for now I am just uh, stopping the process it will continue scrapping and it won't uh, blacklist your IP because it's taking a duration interval but there is some problem like uh, it's not scrapping sometimes it scrap the website and email by default we have does we does not check this so it's not scrapping the emails and the other things so this is a basic software uh, basically it's fast but yeah it's uh, sometimes it does not scrap a column like uh, for this it has not given us review count rating for these four or five it has not scrapped the website so yeah this will scrap but uh, somehow it will left uh, one or two column and yeah email uh, if we check this it will scrap the email as well so this is the first software and if we export the data so it will convert it into excel uh, csv file and we can see by open that file yeah excel xx file and yeah that's the name mobile number reviews ratings uh, it's showing the number of reviews not the reviews and category uh, we have searched for web hosting address email we forgot to check plus code I uh, I don't know what's it and website it's not it has uh, set up empty the Facebook pages for also it has set some empty columns so yeah that's the first software mainly it scrapped the data uh, that's a lighter version now let me show you the Google map extractor pro uh, sorry yeah there that's the software we first need to extract let me close this software and now let's open this folder open this release folder exe binary this version and simply open this application there is no need to such installation or license key or anything you just need to open this thing and location I'll enter India and this time it's digital marketing agency uh, language US threats 
means how many tabs it should open simultaneously so by default it's three it's good and the other settings we can manage like that's the result which i show you later once i scrap that's the main setting like scrap email and social media if i check yes it will scrap contact us information organization to scrap limit uh, per one key that's all the setting we can do uh, from here but first let me show you the results which this software gives to us click start button and now we have to wait for a while So as you can see it's scrapping uh, data of two companies it has scrapped already and yeah it is taking some time because it's scrapping a lot more information than that software it's scrapping the email and the website as well and the social media pages many other information uh, than that scraper so yeah it's working fine so let's wait and let it scrap some more information because the all the information of like digital marketing agencies in india it will take two hours to scrap all the information of all the agencies of course <laughs> i won't make such long video i have to stop this process at some point of time but yeah let's see uh, five to ten items it's scraping then we will stop and export the data now guys if i stop the process uh, it's showing the scrapping complete and if we want to export the results in an excel file so we just need to uh, select the destination we need to create files and the format excel access is fine excel format and we need to click export button and it has exported and if i show you you can see it has exported the media files as well now the photos and here is the file it has exported with which containing the data we have stopped on i guess four or five so that's why it's showing us the result yeah it's a time taking process so you have to either wait patiently or do some other task uh, after running these process but yeah, that's how uh, both these softwares works i know maybe i've seen many softwares uh, which do the same task but here i want to mention one thing you can only use those softwares if you have taken from their official websites or authors with their genuine license keys the softwares i have demonstrated in this video you can see both both the softwares comes up with their respective source codes so there is no such issues of license keys you can use as many computers you can use it on as many computers as you want even the keygen is there in the first software there is no such licensing thing uh, in the second one and you can see when i was installing or running uh, my antivirus has also activated uh, wait a minute that's the antivirus i have already installed and you can see the device is protected there is no such malicious files or trojan uh, activities 
Trojan files or malicious activities in the code. I have not received any warnings uh, related to that. So you can feel free to use these type of softwares uh, that comes with the source code and does not have any issues in the Windows Defenders. Also, one thing I want to make it clear. You might find these softwares a bit slow in your PCs and that's because these softwares will run on your local computers the performance it provides will be according to the configuration of your pc like the how much ram you have and what's the processor has been configured in the motherboard of your local machine it uses the, those resources to perform and if your ram is low and or your processor is slow but if you have high usage of these softwares you can run it on windows rdp i know i said at the start uh, of that of this video that there is no such requirements for server for these softwares and actually that's very true i have done a bit of coding inside the source codes of these softwares so that it won't it will not blacklist your local ip or any ip whose internet you are using for scrapping it will maintain its reputation so you can freely use any of the softwares on your local PC. There is no need for a server. As you can see, I just demonstrated data scrapping with both the softwares on my local machine. Yes, I said if you have very high usage means you have to scrap a lot of data in a day and your PC is not is not well configured for that usage. In that case, you can use an RDP, a window RDP. How to build Windows RDP? You will find a full playlist on this channel. Uh, let me show you. As you can see this playlist. Almost I have installed Windows on almost every server provider. Uh, you need Windows Server. Uh, this won't work for you. Linux or Ubuntu. Kali Linux or Ubuntu you need windows server because it's an windows desktop application so you can also go with the pre-configured rdps if you can buy those the choice is completely yours my job was to show you a way whether you want to walk it on walk on it or go by car or fly a plane that will be completely your decision you will decide that according to your capability and desire and budget for now that's all for this video i'll see you in the next one until then take care and goodbye and stay connected with me through this channel and yeah thank you so much for watching this video